What's the matter, my creative viewer? Spider sense didn't tingle. We've had no one to create with us. We've been alone until now. We'll start off by using a white liner pencil to start outlining our shapes on our face, the eyes, the mouth, the teeth. Depending on how angry you want him to look, you can start the eyes a little lower or sharpen them a little more toward the inner corner of your eyes. With our white face paint, I'm using Wolf Effects. We're going to fill in the eye area and the teeth. For the teeth, I am just focusing on the top row for now, and then I'll go back in and draw the bottom teeth on my chest. Venom is a symbiotic organism from another planet. He feeds on adrenaline and he usually grants spider-like powers. But generally, when the public thinks of Venom, they think of Eddie Brock or Peter Parker. Now we can concentrate more on the bottom half of the jaw, drawing some teeth and the jawline around the chest area. person can exclusively bond with the symbiote, so he's been known to take on other individuals and personas as well. Fill in the rest of the teeth on the bottom jaw with white face beads again. With our black face and body paint, fill in any areas that are not white, with the exception of around the edges of the teeth. We're going to color those red or the gums. Go back in with your red face paint and start outlining your gum line. I mix the red paint with a little black and brown to give a little more of a dimension and darker color. Venom had a love-hate relationship with Spider-Man, and in the process of trying to return to Spider-Man from Eddie Brock, it was too much on his nervous system, and Eddie Brock and he were both knocked unconscious. With some green face paint, green shadows, brown shadows, yellows, just a mix of colors, browns, I'm going to shadow the teeth to dirty them up, give them a little bit of an old, rustic, after being knocked unconscious and false suicides, Eddie Brock was incarcerated. Add shading and details with a small shadow brush and some brown eyeshadow, some greens, grays, anything that you feel will create a little more of dimension. Some more black face paint, creating details around the eyes. During his time at Rikers Island, Eddie shared a cell with a serial killer named Cletus Cassidy. The symbiote Venom eventually made it back to Eddie at Rikers Island, and in their escape, Venom left a piece of himself behind, which Cletus actually took and later became Carnage. Start outlining the tongue on the bottom jaw. 
I left a little space on the bottom jaw void of teeth just so that I can have the tongue kind of hanging out the mouth. You can outline it to twist and turn, be straight, you can just be creative with it. Carnage went on a crazy killing spree in Manhattan, and Spider-Man kind of knew he needed Venom's help to stop him. So with the help of the Human Torch, they went to an island that Venom was secluded at and asked for his help. Some red paint to give it some color. Despite the fact that Venom really had a great disdain for Spider-Man, this was the start of many strange alliances. To give the black a little more of a shine or like a comic booky effect, I am going back in with a blue face paint and just adding some highlight around the black. Black shadow with a small shadow brush around the edges of the teeth and the gum line and to create some striations in the gums. From now on, we are poison to Peter Parker and Spider-Man. We are Venom. Oh, Spider-Man, help me, help me. Hey, Spidey, could you get us Captain America's autograph? <laughs>